So this is the formula that we have for compound interest. Now what we're going to see is something really neat about this. And you can play around with the numbers and see what happens. But as the number of compoundings increases, and especially if it increases without bound, as it approaches infinity, okay, then we end up with something called continuous compounding. Because if you increase the number of compoundings until it kind of blurs and it's, it's continuous, you're always increasing. Um, that's called uh, continuous. And so the formula looks like this. The amount of money you have is your principal times E to the RT. You're probably going, what in the world is E? E is a constant. It's a super important irrational constant for us. Oh, I thought it was like shampoo, hurt. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's my pre-calc teacher made us. No, yeah, it, we, we always call it the PERT equation. Oh, the PERT equation. There. I, I didn't realize they still made PERT. I don't know either. I, I think they do. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say anything because it's funny to me. <laughs> um, but here's the thing about E. E is approximately 2.718. 2818, but the problem with this, even though it looks like it's repeating, it's not. This is, its decimal representation is not repeating. This is a super irrational number. There's a lot of different ways of explaining what E equals. So why do we use it if irrational? Because we, we need to use it so we can talk about things that are continuous compounding. So can we use that equation with the other three? Examples that we no, this is continuous. Because notice here, well, notice that there's nothing about the number of compoundings, right? So I can't talk about yearly, monthly, daily. I can't talk about those kind of compoundings. This is continuous. So if this is basically the U.S. debt. <laughs> I guess you could say that. But if you look at the last example that we had, what were the conditions? The last example we had, we said that the principal was equal to 12,000, the rate was 8%, and the time was five years, right? So let's see what happens if I do continuous compounding. In the last example, we had this. Yearly was 17.6, 17.8, and a oh, little bit like more for monthly, meaning right? Meaning like every second every even more than every second okay. Okay. I, I understand what you're saying. Okay. so since if I go to continuous compounding I'm really increasing the number of compounding so it should be more than what I had here for the monthly we something like that? <laughs> you don't need more money than that bacterial growth you'll be a judge well it's great go to uh, go to law school first <laughs> <laughs> Yep. It up. The one eight two eight isn't that part repeating? Once you go beyond this, it doesn't keep that same pattern. For a little bit here, it looks like it's repeating, but then after that, it just all just forget about it. So this is twelve thousand e raised to the point zero eight times. Now, there's two different places for you to have E. Okay? You have E, which is right above your, your division, but you also have E, which is a second, which is the inverse function for this LN, which we call the natural log, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So if I do 12,000 E raised to the, I'm going to do 0 0.08. Are you already in there? Or is the division? The, if you do second division, if you do second division, all it does is bring up the E, and you, you have to do your own caret and parentheses. If you do second LN, it brings up E, caret, parentheses already for you. Let's see what we get here for this guy. So here I have $17,901. I think it stands for uh, logarithm naturalis. Okay, 
uh, which is natural logarithm. Okay. So I, I could have done 12,000 second natural log, and it brings up e caret in parentheses, and just do the same thing you just had. So you see, with continuous compounding, I earn even more money. You may say, well, the difference between 17,878 and 17,901, that's not that big of a difference, right? That's but five Well, it's in five years. But it, it can be significant, though, right? If the number's large enough, that can be very significant. Okay? So that's, um, that's continuous compounding. Let's uh, throw a few things out there for you. The way we come up with E, just have a little bit more explanation for that guy. If you took one dollar, invested at 100% interest for one year, a dollar at 100% interest for one year. As the number of compoundings goes to infinity, the amount of money that you would have would approach E. You do that formula and you keep typing in those numbers, you make N get larger and larger, and it's going to approach E. You're going to see that. Another way of writing this is E is equal to the infinite sum from this right from n equals zero, n equals zero to infinity of one over n factorial. If you were to work this out, you would have one over zero factorial, one over one factorial, one over two factorial, and so on. It's an infinite sum, meaning it, it, ne it never stops. It keeps on going. But if you enter that, you get 2.68817, yada, yada, yada. So if I'm you saying. enter what? This? Well, you did a dollar at E at the 100% for one year. You don't get 2.7. No, 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 no. As, as N, as the number of compoundings increases, if you go back to your... Um, Whoops. If you go back to your compound interest, not continuous. Oh, you have to go back to the other. Right. So, and if you increase the number of compoundings, okay. it, it will approach that value. So it won't do it using those numbers. Then. Using what? These numbers. Okay. Using these numbers. I was trying to get to the two point seven number. Right, so, yeah, if you were to do 1 plus, you know what, so we said if we do 1 times 1 plus 100% divided by the number of compoundings raised to the number of compoundings. That's really what I'm looking at. If I plug in 1, 100%, 1 for all that stuff. If I look at a table of values here, I'm going to change my table setup. Wait a second. In one year, you'd have $2. Or not one year, but if you did one time a year, you get $2. If you did this monthly, you'd have $2.61. $2.61. If you did it every day, if you did it a thousand times in a year, 10,000 times, and so on, they start to approach a particular value, which is E. Okay. Hooray limits and hooray calculus.